Hi, I'm Pat Brown, CEO and founder of Impossible Foods, a company with a simple mission to completely replace the use of animals as a food production technology by 2035. The use of animals as a technology for transforming plants into meat and milk and fish is by far the greatest threat to our future that humanity has ever faced. Animal agriculture is responsible for as much greenhouse gas emissions as every form of power transportation combined. It is by far the biggest user of water of any industry on the planet and by very far the biggest polluter of water of any industry on the planet. And there's an even bigger problem. 45% of the entire land surface of Earth is actively being exploited by animal agriculture. To put that footprint in perspective, with all its infrastructure, every city on Earth can fit on less than 1% of Earth's land area. All the grains and fruits and vegetables that are directly consumed by humans, they contain essentially all the essential nutrients to feed the world's population, and they occupy 7% of Earth's land area. The world's soybean crop alone contains 50% more human usable protein, more of every essential amino acid, than all the meat consumed globally. And those soybeans are grown on less than 1% of Earth's land area. That land footprint basically underlies probably an even greater threat to the future of our planet, to future generations, than climate change. For an ongoing, rapidly regressing, catastrophic collapse in global biodiversity. So in the past 50 years, almost entirely through the use of animals as a food production technology, we wiped out more than two thirds of the wild animal populations that previously lived on Earth. We have 1.5 billion cows being raised just to produce the world's supply of meat and milk. And those foods add up to only 12% of the human protein supply. Those cows outweigh every remaining wild terrestrial vertebrate, every mammal, bird, reptile, and amphibian combined by more than a factor of 10. That's an environmental catastrophe. That biodiversity is what keeps the ecosystems healthy that keep our planet viable. And that land footprint is just getting bigger because the demand for meat is not getting smaller, it's, it's growing. And when you see smoke coming from the Amazon, that's the secondhand smoke from your burger because 95% of Amazon deforestation is being done to expand the land for animal agriculture. Most people, when they think of animals in the food system, they think, oh, it's just an animal, it's part of nature. We have not covered the world with cows and replaced biodiversity with cows because we love cows and they're part of nature. In the food system, a cow is just an incredibly inefficient prehistoric technology for turning plants into meat. But meat lovers around the world do not love that their meat comes from the cadaver of an animal. They just accept that that's the only way historically we've ever been able to produce meat that delivers what meat lovers want. So the engineering challenge is, okay, here is this food, the demand for which is causing catastrophic damage to the global environment because of the prehistoric way we make it today. Can we figure out a way to make a food that delivers the same value to consumers, that specific deliciousness, juiciness, flavors and aromas, that consumers associate with meat, the protein and iron and other nutrient value that they get from it, and the convenience and affordability of meat. Can we figure out a way to do this that outperforms the cow?